I come stacked. Do you think I'm gonna walk into this lie detector test alone? I have my publicist here, I have my assistant here, I have four attorneys here, I've got my dog here, my dog's trainer here, my dog's trainer's lawyer. I come ready. I'm totally relaxed. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Is your full name Nicholas Kroll? No. I have a middle name. It's James, Nicholas James Kroll. Are you from Rye, New York? Yes. Are you ready to take this lie detector test? Oh, it's such a complicated question to ask. Um. I think I've come to a point in my life where I am ready to take the Vanity Fair lie detector test. Let's start with your career. You were in a comedy duo with this guy, John Mulaney. I've never seen this person in my life. That's not true. Shit. Do you think you're funnier than him? No. I think John Mulaney's funnier than I am. I'm not even gonna look at her. Because I know she's team Mulaney. What about this woman, Kiki Palmer? She's funny. I think I'm pretty funny, so it's hard, you know what I mean? I think I'm pretty funny. Can you tell me whether I'm lying or not so I can talk to my therapist about this? That's true. Yeah. Did you see Kiki's lie detector test? I saw a clip of it. The Ariana Grande moment. She's known her for quite some time. Why don't you ask me if I think I'm funnier than Ariana Grande? Do you think you're funnier than Ariana Grande? I do. However, I've seen her do those impressions on Fallon. She's really good at it. <sighs> I don't have the voice. That's the difference between me and Ariana Grande. She's got the voice. So when she's doing those impressions, she can nail those singing impressions. That's not my forte. My forte is Will Forte impressions. Hi, how are you today? I'm not lying. Am I lying? You're telling the truth. Yeah, that's goddamn right I'm telling the truth. Finally, are you funnier than this man, John Hamm? Than John Hamm? Yeah, I'm funnier than John Hamm. Do you want to ask me if I think I'm better looking than John Hamm? Do you think you're better looking than John Hamm? Yes. Am I telling the truth? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'd rather fuck John Hamm than myself. Your show, Big Mouth, mm -hmm. is based on your experiences going through puberty. Yes. Which I have which I have gone through. Do you think the best comedy comes from painful experiences? Uh I mean I think a lot of good comedy comes from painful experiences, but I think it's I don't think it's true that you have to have gone through painful things to be funny or that comedy only comes through pain. This is slightly painful, this experience. So I hope it's amusing to some, but not all. I don't want everyone to think I'm funny. That's a lie. Between Big Mouth and Human Resources, you voice around 40 characters. Yeah. Is there a voice that your wife hates to hear at home? She doesn't really like Gil Faison from Oh Hello. Can we hear it? Yeah. Oh, hello. For some reason, she doesn't find that super hot. Is there a voice she really loves? Um, I don't think she minds the hormone monster. I think she kind of likes that one. The question is, does the lie detector like it? You've said the voice in your head sounds like this guy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Who is this, Jason Statham? Yeah, it, it does. I want to work on my smirk like Statham. It's like, it's so minimal. Just a little curl of the lip, innit? Just a little taste of disdain. Knowing at any point, I could break your fucking neck. Am I lying right now? No, I'm not. That's right, I'm not lying. 
Is he the only voice you hear in your inner monologue? <sighs> no. Inconclusive. That's right. <laughs> That's right, inconclusive. <laughs> you wish. You wish you could get to the bottom of me, sweetheart. You'd have to wear a scuba tank to get to the bottom of me, okay? You're working on History of the World Part Two with your comedy hero, Mel Brooks. Yes, Mel Brooks. Would you consider yourself an expert in all things Mel Brooks? I think I'm pretty well versed in Mel Brooks. Do you know his real last name? Yes, it is Melvin Kaminsky. If I think it's Mel, like if I'm telling the truth in that I think it's Melvin Kaminsky, but you don't know if that's true or not. So, What's this fucking charade that we're doing here? Is that true? Yes, that's true. That's what the machine is reading. <laughs> the machine says it's true. Speaking of Mel Brooks, mm -hmm. have you heard the expression, never meet your heroes? Yes. Do you think someone who considers you their comedy hero would be disappointed if they met you? Oh, I think it's really in the context with which they meet me. Uh, if I'm like at the airport with my child, I think it's gonna be a disappointment meeting me. They're like, oh my God, you're my hero. I'll be like, get the fuck away from me and my child. But if I've had like two or three drinks and we're backstage at a show, come on, ain't nothing gonna be to hang with Nikki Kroll. You created The Kroll Show, which ran on Comedy Central for three seasons. Yes. It wasn't canceled. It wasn't canceled. Do you think it's better to quit while you're ahead? I think so. I think it's great to quit. Do you ever wish you could be more like this man in real life? Do I wish I could be like Bobby Bottle Service? Yes. What's his best quality? Are you joking me, bro? What's his best quality, bro? Fucking absolutely annihilating a lie detector test, bro. I would get a hundred, I would get a hundred on a lie detector test today. And then fucking ski do out of here, bro. Moving on to pop culture. You're in the movie Don't Worry, Darling. Mm -hmm. Harry Styles said you smell like sweet summer plums. Do you agree? Yeah, I love stone fruits. Like, love stone fruits. Peaches, plums, apricots. What fruit does Harry smell like? I guess watermelon sugar high. I don't know what Harry smells like, but Harry smells good. What's your next question? You kissed Harry at the Venice premiere. That's not true. Harry kissed me. Is he a good kisser? Yeah. Would he say the same about you? Yeah. My voice went up, but I'm telling the truth. You are telling the truth. Yeah. Goddamn right I am. Yeah. Yeah. What if that's how this lie detector, they just like measured the level of your voice. Are you a virgin? No. I've done it a lot. I've done it with a lot of people. I haven't just done it alone. I'm not a virgin. Yes. You have one million followers on Instagram. 1.1, 1 .1, yeah. Do you ever hesitate before you post? All the time. What about when you posted this picture? <laughs> <laughs> I did not. I did not hesitate when I posted this picture. The weird thing is, not in this particular picture, but there's another picture that I have of myself with this in this moment where I kind of think I do look hot. <laughs> People said, and then I said it, that I look like if Jeff Ross fucked Judd Apatow. My initial thought was I looked more like Burt Kreischer and Judd Apatow. The hat really adds a little something. What happens is like my eyes get so swollen that like they push one of the eyes in, so I'm almost like slightly cross-eyed. But it's like, there's something that like, that guy that's kind of hot. Let's just say I wouldn't, if, it, if I had to, I would not choose to look like this. That's true. You're also active on Twitter. Will you stay on Twitter if this man, <laughs> Elon Musk, successfully purchases the platform? He really looks like who he is. It's like if you're like, well, who's like the weird like billionaire who's trying to take over like one of the sources of like information and news? This is what he looks like, you know what I mean? I'd cast Elon Musk 
But I will, yes, I will stay on the platform if he if he gets it. I'll stay on the platform. Uh, I mean, can I can I ask a question? Would I have a child with Elon Musk? Would you have a child with Elon Musk? For the right price. Would you let him name your child something incomprehensible? Of course I would let Elon Musk name my child. Of course I would. True. I'd like to name one of Elon's children. I'd name him 10. Because I think that's what number kid he's on. Why am I why am I fucking with the most like powerful man in the world? He seems to have a sense of humor. Right? I think Elon Musk has a sense of humor. That's true. Yeah. Whose sense, I'm not sure, but he has a sense of humor. It's like after having COVID. It's like, I have a sense of smell. <laughs> That's not true. I do think he has a sense of humor. I think he has no empathy. Are you on TikTok? Yes. Do you know who this person is? I th yeah. I mean, I think it's... Uh, this is, uh, is this Addison Ray? Someone pinned this woman to a bunch of flowers and they should let her down. And then they took pictures of her? That seems cruel. Okay, yes, I know who Addison Ray is. What about her? <laughs> uh, so I think this is, I thought this was Kylie Jenner. First, the, my first instinct was this is Kylie Jenner before. Uh, uh, but it's not, it's, um, this is one of the D'Amelio sisters. They have a show coming out on Hulu. I saw that on a billboard. Will you watch? Every single frame. <laughs> no, but I'll get stoned one night and watch like 15 minutes and be like, wow, here we are. And then I'll forget about it. How about him? Do you know who this is? Yes. I don't know how to pronounce his name, but I want to say Kababy. Kabi. Yeah. He's done quite well by it. Let's talk about your life. You met your wife on Raya. Mm -hmm. Is that the only app you've used? I mean, I've used a lot of apps. Is that the only dating app you've used? The only dating app? Yes, that's the only dating app I've used. The question is, have I used other apps as dating apps? Have you ever used other apps as dating apps? No. So you didn't use The League? Didn't I use The League, like fantasy football as a dating app? There's a dating app called The League. Oh, there's a dating app called The League? Do I see any fucking money off of that? Doubt it. Here's what I can tell you. If someone's picture is Ruxin on the dating app The League, stay away. Because that means that person has, has a, a sourness in their soul. You have a son. Yes. Do you consider yourself a jaddy? A jaddy. Do you know what a jaddy is? Uh, yeah, I know it because of Gelman, Brett Gelman. He's the only, he posts himself as a jaddy, right? Jewish daddy, I'm assuming. Jewish zaddy. Jewish zaddy. Yeah, okay, I think I'm a Jewish zaddy. I think I'm a jaddy. Do you have to actually be a father to be a jaddy? Being a, a jaddy, being a zaddy, being a daddy is all state of mind. That's true. The machine says true. Hmm. Your son inspired the name of your new special, Little Big Boy. Are you going to share any of the profits? Yeah, I think legally, I, I mean, I think I have now share all my profits with my child, <laughs> right? Is there a way that I cannot, machine, is there a way that I cannot share my profits with my child? I love that lie detector machines look like they have not changed in like a hundred years. Are you a helicopter parent? No. My son is struggling to learn the word helicopter. What about a lighthouse parent? I would consider myself a lighthouse jaddy. I'm a guiding light for anyone looking for a Jewish zaddy out there. Cape Cod potato chips have a lighthouse on their bag. And in that case, I am a lighthouse parent in that I like eating salt and vinegar Cape Cod potato chips. And have for many years. He's telling the truth. I'm telling the fucking truth. Salt and Vinny's. Mm. Two last questions. Yes. One, has this interview been more painful than when you were on Hot Ones? Uh, has this, uh, yeah, it has been a little more painful than being on Hot Ones. But Hot Ones, I walked home afterwards. I was in Midtown Manhattan. I ate like 15 of the hottest wings I've ever eaten. And then I walked home thinking I'd like walk them off. And I got like 10 blocks and I was like, 
We're not done with these hot ones. <laughs> There's a hot one a coming. <laughs> so I had to like jump in a cab. Okay. So final question. Did you lie at any point during this lie detector test and we didn't catch you? I don't know. I've lied a bunch. I've lied a lot. But inside of those lies, there's a lot of truth. Inconclusive. Inconclusive. I should go commit some fucking crimes. Or at least get a recurring on Law & Order. Boom, boom. 